So I am on my way to the airport right now. I need to take off my glasses. I probably look like death. I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, and I just got my eyelashes done. And they look so good. They're so long and fleeky. Um, but my eyebrows are like way too thin. I was so mad. But I've been going to her for like ever. So I was not going to complain. But uh, yeah. So I just got into my flight. Headed to LaGuardia. And uh, the flight's like super empty. It's like really creepy looking. <laughs> like literally I feel like I'm like by myself on this plane. No, I'm not flying private, but you know, I'll get there. It's a worry. Already know. I'm so excited. I'm just like, I'm staying in an Airbnb and like, I'm very, I'm like, I hope it's clean. And I hope it doesn't cost like so much money to like take Ubers and whatnot. I just hope it's like in a decent area because it is South Harlem, so. <laughs> Girl. It's tight, okay? It's tight, but it's right. You already know. But, uh, yeah. See you in New York. Getting ready right now. Uh, I'm sorry. Bake, bake, bake. Oh, I'm kind of freaking out right now because... I have no flat iron and is it recording? Yeah, it is. And I have to be at a show in like 20 minutes. I'm gonna have to be super creative with my hair. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but uh you know it is what it is. I hope you guys don't mind. No, I like I I love New York. I would move here in a heartbeat. It's just like it's it's so expensive and like getting a visa is next to impossible I feel like. So I don't know. But yeah, like when I when I lived here, like I loved it. Like it was like everything. Like when I came back home to Toronto, I was so sad. <laughs> So I was like, oh, I miss New York. What's Just, the big industry out in Toronto like that's known where you can live and the survive. big the big industry? Yeah, like or like career. Oh where man. You can live pretty much. Um God, I'm trying to think. Maybe owning restaurants or like working corporate to be honest. Like to be honest, like a lot of uh, like like the jobs like in the arts in Toronto, it's really hard to like make money, just because Toronto's a lot smaller than New York, so there's a lot fewer people, so there's a lot less people with money. So it's really hard to make a living off of being a creative in Toronto because like there's not a lot of money in it. Like, there's no money in, like, our fashion industry. It's really sad. At all? No. Like here, yeah. Like here, there's so much money. Like, even, like, the small brands here mm -hmm. will have, like, a decent amount of, like, support. Whereas, like, in, in Toronto, like, people aren't really buying Canadian brands mm. as much. Uh -huh. Like, unless it's, like, a big major corporate brand, like Roots or something, or Canada Goose. But like the smaller designers in Toronto, like there's not much money in it. It's sad. All you need is a good deal, the perfect deal for you to come here. Yeah, uh, yes, exactly. The perfect job. <laughs> Listen, you hear this week, you never know who you're gonna meet. I know. That's 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 why I come here, hoping to meet the right person, <laughs> so I don't have to leave. <laughs> So I'm on my way to the Sync Set show. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't, I hadn't heard of the designer before I got the invite, but I checked out their Instagram page and just stuff looked really cool. So, so this is my hair right now. I 
forgot my flat iron, so it might be kind of a mess, but <laughs> it's not too bad actually. It doesn't look that different. It's just like it's randomly curly in certain areas, so hopefully no one catches that. I'm also super worried because I'm all the way in Harlem and this show is in Soho, so I really don't want to miss the show. I'm in the bar now, so. Here's hoping. Sap, but I don't know if I have time. Whatever. When there's a will, there's a way. heading to a hair event right now. Um, it's actually a natural hair event, <laughs> which is ironic because I wear my hair straight. But uh, I actually just bought a flat iron, actually, because I forgot mine at home. So yeah, now my hair is leaky. But um, yeah, it's a natural hair texture. What's it called? Texture to the so, uh, yeah.
To know your limits to everything. Yes, yes, it is. There's nothing wrong with drinking. But you yeah, have to know the yes, yes, you do. Or you have to eat in between so you of can course. soak up the alcohol. Yeah, but some people that throw up. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that's not a problem. The problem is when you start drinking and yeah. you notice something as well, then you stop. Yeah. Yeah. Don't lose it. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's just gonna. Yeah. She's gonna the give him her time. Yeah. <laughs> so I am headed to the Amelia show. I'm so excited. Um, this is probably the show that I've been most excited about all weekend, the week. And uh, People's Revolution's doing it, so I know it's gonna be popping. The show that I just left was like insane. It was so good. It was in Brooklyn and it just had such a cool artistic streetwear vibe. I loved it. I'm actually leaving New York tomorrow morning and I'm very sad. I think this is like the most fun I think I've ever had in New York during Fashion Week, which is like is, is a lot because I normally have a really good time, but I feel like this time it's just been like back to back events and parties or whatever. So
That's her close up, right? I'm so craving. I was starving and I haven't had pizza once since I've gotten here, so I literally Ubered all the way to the Upper East Side to get my favorite pizza. I'm very pleased. Do you want to see? It's actually like the best pizza like I've ever had. I came here like for my birthday and like I literally stayed at an Airbnb like right down the street and I was just like, okay, this pizza is the best pizza ever. It's called, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll film it when I get outside. It's like, So, I'm leaving New York. I'm headed to LaGuardia right now. So, I had a very good time, honestly. I woke up hella late, so I'm a little bit worried. It is 7.25 right now, and my flight's at 9.30. So, my alarm clock didn't go off. It didn't go off, and I was like, why did it not go off? And I realized that it's not set on Sundays. I'm also a little bit worried because I have an extra carry-on bag with me because of that hair show. Like, when I came down, I was under, and I'm like, never under. Like, I'm literally like, either just there or like, way over. So, I was like, yes, for the first time, I'm not packing, I'm not over packing. But then, I got a bag full of like conditioners and shampoos and sprays and hair moisturizers and treatments and it sounds amazing but I have to carry this stuff on, a, on an airplane and I can't just carry it as a carry-on so I actually had to take out like a lot of stuff from my luggage and like just put it like all my like shoes are in there and like the jacket and I don't know. Hopefully hopefully that works. I think I think it's only like 30 something to bring an extra carry-on. So I don't mind paying $30, but like I don't want to pay an extra hundred dollars. Do you know what I mean? It's lighting though. My skin is so bad. Look at this, like right here in the middle of my forehead. The absolute worst. <laughs> 